Hi, this is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon, and today we'd like to give you another sneak peek look at Video Surgeon version 2. And in this sneak peek, we'd like to focus on a combination of both the zooming in as well as using these buttons down here, which are freeze frame buttons, which allow us to increase or decrease um, the motion of the video that we're looking at and we'll explain that in just a second. So first of all let's talk about or let's demonstrate um, zooming in and I guess a couple of ways to look at that. First of all we have a version of Video Surgeon here which is minimized uh, on the desk right now and what we can do is we can certainly maximize that and then we can collapse the top menu and we can collapse the bottom menu and when we do that you'll see that we get a much larger video on the screen and that's actually before we've actually zoomed in at all now once we're here we can zoom in by simply left clicking and every time we click we double the zoom so you can see we can get very very close and enlarge this considerably so you can see what's going on so uh, that's clearly a, a very useful and important feature and then what we do next is we combine that with these buttons down here so while we're in freeze frame while the video is motionless we can either increase a frame at a time which is what this F button is so a frame at a time or a tenth of a second or a quarter of a second or a second at a time and conversely we can go in reverse um, and we can go backward. So if we're looking for a specific set of motions in a video and we want to look at them in detail, um, you know, obviously when you stop a video you might not be exactly where you need to be to see what you're interested in. So this is a way in which you can not only zoom in but you can look frame by frame by frame until you get to the actual picture on the screen that you're interested in. So let's just demonstrate this a little bit you can begin to see the pinky finger here move as I do the frame by frame. Here I'm going in reverse. I'm assuming you can see that because I can see it on my screen. And of course if we want to see something more substantial we can go a tenth of a second at a time. or we could go quarter of a second at a time and obviously you see much more movement but the point is that you can control this with a fair degree of precision down here and of course being able to be zoomed in as well as an analyze this video on a frame by frame basis if need be is a real powerful tool and it doesn't matter whether you're a teacher or whether you're a student this is going to be of value to you to help you see what it is that you're trying to see because if you can clearly see and therefore understand something you're going to be able to better master it or better better play it or, or, or do it better and you know again this applies to whether you're a guitarist as this particular person here is or whether you're a a coach of a swimmer or uh, in in martial arts or ballroom dancing or anything else this this type of video analysis software is really useful across quite a wide variety of different fields so anyway that's really all I wanted to show you today we're really excited about this new release of version 2 it's been a long long time coming and I apologize for that but hopefully the wait is going to be worth it thanks